Hi, my name is Sharifa Nalena. I am Kriyashini Vilayan. And I am Yasmin Maliha. We are from Sariputri Science Secondary School. Imagine a situation where there is no electricity. 1.3 billion people around the world who lack access to electricity and only darkness is reality. For us, life does not stop after dark. But for 550 million around the world, it does. For that reason, we came up with a spectacular innovation entitled Mechanica Navitas El Electricia or popularly known as MNE which means Converting Sound Energy to Electricity in Spanish. Today, we are going to show you how we came up with the project, the pros and cons, our vision and the goal of the study. It is a growing environmental problem that is increasingly becoming an omnipresent, yet unnoticed form of pollution not only in developed countries but also in developing countries. It can be defined as a wrong sum, in the wrong place, and at the wrong time. So, in our project, we are going to use this unwanted sum and convert it into something useful and that is electricity. So, as according to the law of thermodynamics, energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but it can be changed into another form. This means that our hypothesis is accepted. The diagram shows the materials and how the circuit was fixed. Now, moving on, let us watch a short video about how the prototype works. So, now we're using a phone, which will produce sound wave from sound. The sound wave will be converted into electrical energy, which will light up the LED and also charge the phone. Every successful invention has its own flaws and so does our simple prototype. Before we move on, I would like to clarify certain issues regarding sound energy itself. According to the research carried out by MIT, harvesting sound energy only translates about hundreds of watt per square meter. In contrast, the amount of sunlight hitting a given spot on the earth is about 680 watts per meter square. That's why sound energy is less effective compared to solar panels. While non-renewable sources, they contain a thousand times energy density compared to sound. So, this means that sound could not produce comparative energy in contrast to non-renewable or other renewable energy. Next, these are the imperfections of our prototype. The first one is that the prototype can detect the sound of 20 cm radius only providing the loudness of the sound which is more than or equals to 80 decibels. So the maximum voltage produced by our prototype is only 5 volt, which is enough to charge a mobile phone. Next, we are proud to say that this gorgeous product does not depend on the weather like solar panels or wind turbines. This is the most exceptional profit from our project. As said earlier, noise pollution happens everywhere, which means that we can install this project anywhere, providing the sound is present. Next, we ensure you that Mechanica Navitas and Electricia neither pollutes the environment as it only runs on sound power, nor emits any greenhouse gases. Lastly, our marvelous prototype is small and does not require much space. In the future, we would like to continue our research to find out how we can increase the voltage produced by the device so that this product could be used globally. Next, we would also like to increase the sensitivity of the device so that even the slightest sound from a far away distance could be stored by the device. We desire to install this input version of the project in factories which produce high decibels of noise that can be used to run the low-powered machines. Last but not least, our biggest dream is to ensure our device becomes a dependable source of energy like solar cells and hydroelectric powers which contributes 16% of the world's electricity. To achieve this, our product must be first be able to store sound energy and convert it to electricity. Winning this marvelous competition 
does not only make us happy but also provide us with infinite knowledge about the upcoming future and the renewable energies. The idea is there and it's quite promising.